Hey everybody, it's, uh, it's Jay, just wanted to say hi and uh, give you our weekly update in the Word. And uh, I realized I forgot my sunglasses, so it's kind of bright today. But anyway, um, just wanted to share. I'm out here in the Forest Preserve again. And I uh, wanted to share just a quick verse. Um, it was actually one that like, I remember as a kid, but I uh, hadn't really thought about it recently. Um, but it was shared in uh, elementary chapel this week, and he just shared it as a quick thought, but uh, as part of it, something else that he was doing, but I just couldn't let it go. So um, Isaiah 26, 5 is the verse that says, and he will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you. Uh, Isaiah saying, you have peace when your mind is on him. Not Isaiah, but him as in God. Uh, and the words are written to God. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you. So, like, the way to perfect peace is to keep your mind on God. And then it says after that, because you trust, because he trusts in you. Uh, which kind of goes with what we talked about last week with the idea of, you know, trusting the Lord with all your heart. But just that, that phrase, he will, you will keep him in peace, perfect peace, whose mind has stayed on you. We have some friends coming up uh, behind us. So if you are uh, keeping like I, I just can't stop thinking about that. Keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind, it, it's so easy to think about, and yet it's so difficult to think about. Because it's easy to get my mind not thinking about God. It's easy to get my mind thinking about the election, or thinking about the virus, or thinking about injustices or troubles that I face or thinking about what I'm eating for dinner tonight you know like it's so easy to not keep my mind on Christ and maybe that's why I'm not on perfect peace because if my mind is not on him how can I say that I trust him how can I say in all thy ways I'm acknowledging him if I'm not keeping my mind on him I love the, he then changes and says, trust in the Lord, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Everlasting rock, that's pretty cool. And then he says, the, 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 he will humble those who are at height, the lofty city. And, and part of me thinks that that's a, that's a uh, statement or that's something about America. I mean, we've been pretty, pretty lofty of ourselves. We've been pretty, think pretty uh, highly of ourselves. And yet we're seeing from the hand of God that we are being humbled. Like, like. The world around us, if my faith is in my country, my country is going to fall apart. Like, my faith needs to be in one thing. And that needs to be God. And if your identity is found in your nation, you won't be at perfect peace. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, him. So, uh... Yeah, that's just little thoughts that I'm wrestling with, honestly, because I need my mind to be at peace. And it's like it's like God's telling me to put my mind at peace. And I keep fighting it. Because it keeps, you know, rummaging around in my head. 
So it's like I said the other day at church, how many reminders do you need? How many reminders do I need to be at peace, to, to focus on him? Uh, so anyway, just a quick, quick thought for you uh, today. Um, I hope you're enjoying the weather that we have. Like this is just beautiful. Uh, it's gonna cool off, but at least today it's pretty, pretty gorgeous. So I hope uh, you had a great, great week. Thank you to those who came and worked at the church, cleaning up the flower bushes and stuff. Appreciate that. And um, we're looking forward to uh, Awana tonight and then church this coming Sunday. Um, let me know if I can do anything for you or if Cheyenne, you can reach out to one of us. We'd love to uh, stay in touch. So have a great week, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next week.